hi guys how are you this is Lois welcome back to my channel I hope you're well and safe it's a bright evening you know when I came to Canada some of the things uh, that were a real culture shock for me was this you know late night sunshine so right now it's 9 30 p.m. Calgary time and I know it looks like it's 3 p.m. Okay, so I hope wherever you are, uh, it's nice and warm and sunny. I thought I would show you this because these are some of the things that actually took me time to get used to. Okay. But you know guys, uh, <laughs> I didn't bring you out here to the pond today so that I could show you, you know, the sunshine. It's nice to see the sunshine. I believe you're gonna love it. I'm just by the roadside so it could be a little noisy. Uh, just bear with me and I hope you can enjoy the frogs uh, music they are really singing there but uh, the reason I'm here I want to talk to you about new occupations in demand which are coming up uh, I'm, I'm looking at the trends I'm evaluating the market and I'm seeing new trends come up and I thought you know what let me just tell you some of these things because these are some things that have been overlooked so folks, in this video today, we shall be addressing the shifts in occupations in demand here in Canada that we continue to observe, you know. I have made other videos that have said, oh, you know, healthcare is in demand, uh, you know, uh, IT is in demand. But as I've also mentioned is that different provinces are going to need different occupations at different times. But right now we have some kind of a united front all over Canada whereby we're seeing some you know some occupations just rise up that have been forgotten a lot of people haven't paid attention to and uh, this is evident when we look at uh, the Saskatchewan SINP draw of May 25 whereby they drew uh, targeted occupations uh, which fell under the skilled trades okay and my guess uh, not just guess it's my research uh, if you've been following the Canadian news, you will see that the, the real estate industry is skyrocketed right now. It's really heated up fast because of COVID. You know, with COVID, everybody's trying to move out of the city into the suburbs. So there's a lot of demand for, you know, uh, detached homes. People are now building, you know, out there in the rural areas. And then also the low interest rates. So the interest rates have been really affordable. They've been really favorable to people. So you find that there's a lot of demand when because now a, a few people kind of felt that uh, they could finally afford homes. So interest rates went uh, all the way to 1.5%. Uh, so with that, we are seeing changes. And this is what, what I'm talking of Saskatchewan today. I can tell you this is every we are not just in Saskatchewan uh, you know there's shortage of lumber in Ontario and all other provinces why that is the building uh, material so you find that when there's that demand for construction then of course there's going to be demand for construction workers and everything that comes with construction you know utilities uh, infrastructure all the things that come with construction so all those occupations are now looking like they're going to be in demand and I think this is not going to stop anytime soon it could be going on for a while so it's in your best interest if you fall in this kind of occupations please pay attention and get ready to start applying to come to Canada okay so uh, as I was saying on May 25th Saskatchewan issued specifically targeted uh, invitations to 269 candidates and they only considered 65 points. Why is that important? I can tell you that it's almost two years since Saskatchewan uh, invited people with lower uh, than 68 points. You know, I've seen 68 invited, like I think in November, uh, November 20, was it November 2019? 
but you know the points have really gone up so you see that you find that right now in saskatchewan they're inviting 70 69 the least uh but for this specific one they invited people with 65 points you know so you know i said you know things are happening in in immigration you should be paying attention if you fall among these nocs you are among those people that right now saskatchewan is targeting okay uh, the people who were invited, they fell under four major classes. That is a uh, NOC major group 071, uh, major group 073, and 72, and 73. And out of these four major groups, they issued invitations for 36 occupations. Okay? Uh, let's just see, you know, a summary of who these people were with the 071, that is managers in construction and facility operations and maintenance. Uh, for 072, that is managers in transportation. For 72, that is industrial, electrical and construction trades. And 73, that is maintenance and equipment operation trades. Uh, so, I know you're out there wondering, so how do I qualify for occupations in demand class? Because actually Saskatchewan has that specific class. And uh, yeah, not just Saskatchewan, we are finding that various provinces now are targeting individual and specific occupations. But for this uh, specific class, that is our uh, occupations in demand in Saskatchewan, I previously made a video that was quite elaborate and I'm going to attach it at the description part of this video. You can go through it so that you understand exactly how to go about applying for that class. Okay. So, uh, but just to give you a pointer or a refresher there, uh, to get into the Saskatchewan pool, you need to have 60 points. Okay. Uh, and how that actually happens. So the, you, you, you get 60 points, you assess yourself, you have 60 points, you, you create a profile there. Once you create a profile, you submit a new OI, that is an expression of interest. And uh, if you meet uh, the, the, the points that they are drawing, like this time, if you had 65 and you were in these occupations which are in demand, then you would get an invitation. You'd be selected, you'd get an invitation to apply for a nomination, after which you have 60 days to apply and you apply for nomination and hopefully you're successful, you get that nomination. If you're in the express entry, you can take that nomination that uh, that nomination and it gives you an extra 600 points uh, to qualify for the express entry and after that that you will get an, uh, an invitation to apply for permanent residence okay uh, if you're not in the express entry that should not worry you you can still apply for permanent residence uh, directly without having to go through the express entry okay so uh, yeah, I hope that is clear. Anyway, what are the requirements for that class? Again, I said you need 60 points under the Saskatchewan uh, nomination grid, and then they don't need really high language. Uh, they say you need a CLB4, but I've told you time and again, it's in your best interest to have a high CLB score for your language. That is uh, whether that is English or French, make sure that you have a high language score. And then of course, you're going to require an educational credential assessment. And these people do require that you either have a diploma, certificate or a degree, okay? And then you'll require to have at least one year work experience in the last 10 and you will need to obtain a license uh, in Saskatchewan if your occupation needs an occupation to practice okay uh, and then you should of course be in an occupation that is in demand Saskatchewan uh, doesn't just invite anybody uh, they, they target specific occupations so make sure that you fall under the classes that are in demand there and uh, you must have uh, settlement funds of course you must show that you have enough money for you and your family whether they are accompanying you or not and 
last but not least you will have to pay an application fee the good thing now with this class uh, is that you do not require a job offer so whether you have a job offer is not a deterrent for this provincial nomination and you also don't require a, nom uh, a connection to Saskatchewan the fact that you fit under the occupations in demand that is good enough um, and you should be able to get that nomination and immigrate to Saskatchewan. I have said when you're coming through provincial nominations, make sure that you have an intention of living in that province. So in this case, you should be ready to live in Saskatchewan after you immigrate. Okay. So out of the 36 occupations, do you want to hear which those were? <laughs> I'm just going to name them quickly. And I, I know you can do some research. You can just go out there and research on these occupations to see whether you fall under them. That is 0711, 0712071201, 7203172027203 7 2 3 4 7 2 3 7 7 2 4 2 7 2 4 3 7 2 4 5 7 2 4 6 7 2 7 1 7 2 8 1 uh, 7 2 8 2 7 2 8 3 7 2 9 1 7 2 9 4 7 3 0 1 7 3 0 2 7 3 0 4 7 3 0 5 7 3 11 Seven three twelve, seven three thirteen, seven three twenty one, seven three twenty two, seven three thirty three, seven three thirty five, seven three seventy one, seven three eighty one, and seven three eighty four. Those were the thirty six occupations that were targeted on the draw of twenty fifth may in saskatchewan so if you fall there uh, maybe that should give you an indication that you know what it's high time that you took your occupation seriously okay all right guys uh you know next i'm talking about nurses 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 where are you <laughs> see me i will see you in my next video if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe uh take care